return to Highland Boxing Promotions right here in Bangkok started. So Ege from Turkey in the red gloves and Manish from India in the blue gloves. Manish has a slight height advantage here for undefeated records. Bit of a low guard there from for Manish. It's the opposite. He wants to stay at range. Good Ege at range. And use the rig as his best friend so he doesn't get cornered on the ropes or in the corner. Ege at the moment. Right hook there. Good check right hook from Ege. That hit the mark. Ege at range with his jab. Very good jab there from Manish. But Ege landing that left hand. Right hook. Oh, sorry. Right uppercut. But Ege firing straight back with a right hook of his own. Almost landing the left hand down. The Ege is still trying to hold centre of the ring. Just waiting for Manish. But pushing forward. Manish firing back as well. Here so far from the Indian fighter. Good right hand there from Manish, but Ege fires is doing really well, Manish, but when he's in and out, so that was much better defence there. Pushing forward, good footwork there from Ege. Just motioning laterally to his right, playing up. Very low, good jab again on the back foot from Manish. Great spring in his step, finding a home for that right uppercut. Manish missing with it though the second time, landing with the short left hook on the inside. Ege missing with it way on the inside. Short left hand there from Ege. Moving here from Manish. Ege trying to cut him off, but right uppercut lands again for Manish. We saw that quite a few times in round one and round two from the Indian fighter. It looks like he's finding a groove here. Ege Bay with the jab, just moving lastly to his left. Ege landed a body shot, but Manish wrapping him up in the clinch. Oh, there you go, Ege stepping in and landing that left straight right down the middle. God, these two are tip attack so far for me in round number three. Jab again from Manish. Good right hand connects again for Manish and another one. Ege missing with his own right to corner him off. Landing with the left hand and a right hook. Going to the body as well. Ege easier said than done it's so difficult I said earlier on when we had a sort of a David versus Goliath matchup with the height advantages Goliath being Manish David being Ege so a bit better whoa it's almost a throw there from solid so far for Manish in all the rounds record compared to Ege Straight left there from Ege Manish. Good flurry to the body there from Ege, but Manish landing with his own hook. Left hook there from Manish and getting out of dodge straight away with the footwork. Left hook there though, lands on the inside for Ege. See, it's that back step from Manish. Oh, there you go again. Right hook connects for Ege. This is better for the Turkish fighter. And last minute, could straight left to the body from Ege. Manish firing back with his own right hand left hook. Could uh, shots to the body. Too much of his own lateral movement and control of the ring too much. He's really been following Manish a lot in this bout so far. Right hook to the head there. Didn't hurt Manish too much. Didn't put him off of his... Balance too much, good jab there from Manish. <coughs> right uppercut there from Manish. Good right hook there from Ege. It's been way more accurate in this round with that right hook and again going back to it. In fighter. Left hand to the head, left hand to the body as well from Ege. And right hook lands as well, connects very well. Ege starting to find his groove in round number five. Right hook lands for Ege. Growing in. Ege just messing with the jab, trying to feint his way forward, taking a leaf out of Manish's book. Almost landing with the right hook that hits the shoulder, but the left hand to the ball. Ege just messing with the right hook. He really needs to get busy. That's better from Manish. Making it hitting and not getting hit. Manish landing with the right uppercut as well. 
Right uppercut missing though from Manish, but Ege firing back with the left hook to the body. And left hand to the body as well from Ege. Two right hooks in a row from Ege. And there you go, good left hand again from Ege, really finding his groove in round six. And landing again with that right hook, stopping Manish in his tracks. Oh, Manish on the attack here now. Feints here, level changing slightly from Ege. Manish landing a check left hook and moving to his right. Right uppercut there from Manish. Good left hand and right hook connects again for Ege. That took more wind out of the sails of Manish along with that body punch flurry for sure. Less than 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Big right hook lands again for Ege as Manish came in with his own punch combination. And that's going to do it for round six. <laughs> Bit of bobbing and weaving there from Ege. Two punch combination. Another three, four punch combination there from Manish and a push away from Manish. Manish really has to go to work now. Good from Manish. This is way better. Getting on his bike now, pouring on the pressure. Just taking a break here. Let's see if we can see more of that from Manish, who's going on the assault again. Off. Good Bo flurry to the body, and then right hooks the head from Ege. Right up a got there from Ege and left straight as well. Manish nodding it and acknowledging it. Another right uppercut and that knocks out the gum shield of Manish. They really got into a good rhythm now. And there you, there you see it again, just a quick flurry to the body and then it hooks to the head. Saw him warming up with that. Nice and light on his feet, and the tables have turned now. It's Manish that's chasing Ege. Left took the hands for, Ege, for Manish. Jab from Manish. Manish just trying to not just cut Ege off. But Ege firing back with his own. Body and then head combination. Hard right hands coming in from Manish, but getting pushed back by Ege with his own left hand. Ten seconds to go now in round number seven. Swing and a miss from Ege. And that's going to do it for round number seven. He's got to try and corner Ege and just unleash one of these flurries and find a home for that right uppercut that he was so accurate with in the earlier rounds. Good, this is good from Manish. Swing and a miss from Ege. Push from Manish. Manish. Big left hook there from Manish. And there's that right uppercut again. Good shot for Manish. This is definitely a good round for Manish as well, but don't think this is going to be enough. Right hook connects as well. Swing and a miss for Manish. Right hook there for Ege though. Left straight right hook for Ege. Referee telling both fighters off for punching as he was trying to break them up. But there's that right uppercut again from Manish. All Ege needs to do for me is just hold on. Good left uppercut from the Turkish fighter. The left hand lands for Ege. Manish still on the prowl. Trying to land one shot that's going to rip up the script that Ege has written for himself, paving his way to the WBC Asia Silver Lightweight title. Less than 30 seconds to go. Chad from Manesh. Ege coming back though, 
straight left to the body and Roy Hu. We've seen that so many times in this fight. And it's paved Ege's way to victory for me so well. Okay, less than 10 seconds to go, so we're going to find out who's going to get the silver lightweight WBC Asia title. There you go, end of round eight. Okay, after eight rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge number one scores this bout 78 74. Judge number two, 77 75. Judge number three, 77 75. For unanimous decision, red corner, AK Canuck! AK Canuck is the new World Boxing Council. Asia Silver Lightweight Champions!